A limitation of cyclic photophosphorylation is that it does not provide hydrogen atoms for making sugar molecules. Bacteria and other organisms that do cyclic photophosphorylation must scavenge for hydrogen atoms, which is inefficient. Plants have evolved non-cyclic photophosphorylation, which provides both ATP and hydrogen atoms. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation in plants takes place in the thylakoid membrane of organelles called chloroplasts. Like bacteria, plants have a photosystem, an electron transport chain, and ATP synthase. In addition, plants have a second photosystem called, surprisingly, photosystem 1. The photosystems are named in the order they were discovered. The first photosystem in the series is called photosystem 2. Photons from the sun excite electrons in the pigment molecules in photosystem 2. The excited electron travels down the electron transport chain, and its energy is used to pump protons across the membrane. This is identical to the process in cyclic photophosphorylation. However, rather than returning to the reaction center, the spent electron travels on to the reaction center of photosystem 1. Photons from the sun excite electrons in the pigment molecule in photosystem 1 and cause an excited electron to be ejected from the reaction center. This excited electron ends up being transferred to an electron carrier. In order for this process to be repeated, the reaction center of photosystem 2 must have its electron replaced. Water molecules from the thylakoid space provide a source of low energy electrons. The reaction center splits water molecules, taking their hydrogen atoms and releasing oxygen gas. Now the process can begin again. The electron is excited. It moves down the electron transport chain. More protons are pumped across the membrane, and the spent electron passes on to the reaction center of photosystem 1. The electron is excited again and passed on to the electron carrier. This process is called non-cyclic photophosphorylation because the electrons travel in a straight line from water to photosystem 2, down the electron transport chain to photosystem 1, and on to an electron carrier. The result of this process is that a gradient of protons builds up on one side of the membrane. These protons flow down their concentration gradient through a turbine engine called ATP synthase. The flow of protons turns the rotor, providing mechanical energy to force phosphate groups onto ADP, forming ATP, the energy currency of the cell. Thus, the products of non-cyclic photophosphorylation are ATP, and reduced electron carriers, which carry hydrogen atoms that can be used to make sugars. Oxygen gas is also produced as a byproduct.